is Reverend David Petty, and I'm here to do a quick review about the unboxing of what I have here, the uh, MSI Claw handheld gaming PC. I've done an unboxing also of the Lenovo Legion Go, also of the Asus ROG Ally, and you can check those out as well here on our channel. And I'll also be doing a review of all three handheld consoles and a comparison. Handheld gaming PCs, my bad. So let's check it out. First off, I want to tell you that I did get this from Newegg. So here's the box from Newegg. As you can see here, uh, nice packaging from Newegg. Looks like just about any other box that you're ever going to get from Newegg. It says Newegg on it. But what's most exciting is what's inside. Uh, it is interesting to note that this box does come kind of um, fully packaged. So I'm going to be curious to see what's inside of it once I open it up. So let me grab my handy dandy scissors. Let's check it out. The unboxing of the unboxing. Right off the bat, it is a package that is excited to get out of the box. Lots and lots of air packaging stuff in here. Let's get all this stuff out of the way. Because really, we don't care about any of this stuff that's in the box. We care about what's inside this box. This box for the MSI Claw, brand new handheld gaming PC. Let's check it out on this screen. MSI Claw handheld gaming PC. Brand new. So looking at the box, looks very similar to the Lenovo Legion box or the other box. I mean, they're all very similar size. By comparison, here's the Asus ROG Ally box, a little bit smaller. And do I have the Lenovo box somewhere nearby? Uh, I do. Actually, the Lenovo Legion box was pretty big because it came with a case as well. I'm curious to see, does the handheld MSI scent come with a case? So the MSI Claw. There's that side of the box, that side of the box, this side of the box that contains the serial numbers and stuff. Now, the major thing to note here that's a little bit different than all of the other consoles, handheld gaming PCs, they all run on AMD uh, architecture. This one runs on Intel and their Arc gaming processor. So we'll see what that looks like once we open it up and how well it actually runs. Um, form factor, at least on the outside of this, looks almost identical, like they came out of the same factory even. The buttons are the same shape as the Asus ROG Ally. Um, we'll see if that actually affects performance or if it's just a very, very similar um, build. But the back, from what I saw in pictures, looks very different. So let's check it out. It's a little bit more challenging with scissors, but it can be done. Okay. So first impressions. Got a little piece of cardboard and a little pamphlet that says Claw A1M Grip and Game. Now I do know that there are two different versions of this. This is the slightly lower grade version, but in looking at the specs, they actually aren't that much different. And the pricing is not that much different either, which I thought was very different than the Z1 processor versus the Z1 Extreme found in the Asus ROG Ally. But uh, yes, yeah, so far, step one, it says plug it in. Step two, power it on. Step three, run Windows updates. Step four, MSI Live update. This is one of my biggest complaints about these handheld gaming PCs is they are running Windows, and so you do have to run through a lot of updates. So first, let's take a look at the actual handheld. Nice, sleek, black. Feels almost identical to the uh, Asus ROG Ally. One thing I did read was that this is uh, Hall Effect joysticks, which are a little bit different than the non-Hall Effect joysticks found on the Asus ROG Ally. Uh, also interesting to note that uh, the back of this is like entirely uh, getting rid of heat, so it'll be interesting to see if this is a much hotter. But, but even these buttons here, hmm, these seem to press in. I think the Asus ROG Ally pressed this way but uh, almost identical button placement and almost identical button shape. So very interesting here, this back. OK, 
Okay, it's running an Intel Core Ultra 5, which is also, I understand, a new processor specifically for their handheld gaming PCs. Let me show everybody on this camera here. This is what it looks like. And the back is almost all for getting rid of heat. Uh, quick look at the I.O. ports. Well, I'm not sure if this camera is going to focus well on it. Let's get the overhead camera. So quick look at the I.O. It does say uh, True Gaming on the top. It's got a b power button, volume up and down button, SD, a micro SD card slot, a USB-C card slot, uh, or not a card, USB-C power slot, a headphone jack, this one, different than the Asus ROG Ally, does not have that uh, Asus proprietary port. And, ah, uh, sad. A little different than the Lenovo Legion Go, no port on the bottom for docking. All right. Little thing about the materials. This feels like a slightly cheaper plastic or a less uh, durable plastic than the Asus ROG Ally. Asus ROG Ally feels like a very hardy plastic. This feels like a soft plastic that's going to scratch over time. So, but maybe that contributes to the weight difference. I don't know. We'll have to see. All right. Let's look at whatever else is in the box as well. All right. Other things in the box. Looks like a fairly large power brick. I'm presuming nothing else in these sides. Yep, that's all just packaging. So we have a little thing that says stop. We're here to help. We have customer service. I've had mixed reviews about MSI's customer service. And holy cow, what a power brick. Considering that this thing is only, how many watts does it say on here? Hmm does not say it probably says on the actual power brick but this comes with a traditional power cord and a whatever kind of power slot that is the three prong power I and mean, this is a hardy cord this is like pulling for your you know microwave and then we've got a pretty significantly sized power brick that converts it all to USB-C for power let's see how many watts this is pulling 65 watts okay and i think the others are 65 as well so so far i've been most impressed uh i think by the asus rog ally has the smallest power brick of the bunch okay let's plug it in and get it running i will say one of the things i do like about having a much larger cord is it is also longer i think out of all of the handhelds i've reviewed this is the longest cord it looks like I don't know, almost 10 feet of cord. So you could plug in wherever you want and still be able to game wherever you want. All right, I've got the power. Let's plug in, turn on, first impressions. Also curious, this button looks similar to the Asus button. Uh, the Asus button does have a fingerprint sensor on it, which is kind of a neat feature. We'll see if this one does as well. Oh, and I suppose we could probably take off the protective, it appears that there's a protective thing on here. There we go. Uh, also interesting to note, I'll have to look when I actually do my comparison video, but it looks like there's quite a lot of bezel around this screen. You can see here where the MSI says MSI, is that this bezel does look quite significant around the screen. So, little power LED. All right, so we start up with a little MSI logo. The screen looks nice. Not sure about the specifics about this screen. I think it's very similar to the Asus ROG Ally screen. There we go with the MSI Claw. Probably gonna be just like the others that it's gonna boot up. And first thing, it's gonna have to run Windows updates and then it's gonna have to run MSI updates. So, this camera. Sure enough, first we have to choose 
updates, United States, all this kind of stuff. All right, so right off the bat, this fan is starting to get loud, and it's not even doing much. So it will be interesting to see what the heat dissipation is like on this compared to the others. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and cut off the unboxing video here and tell you to go check out my review video. I'll give you a full review of this once I've spent a little bit of time with it, as well as a comparison in which I'm going to show side by side by side all three of the gaming handheld consoles that I have and uh, handheld PCs, handheld gaming PCs. I'll show all three of the handheld gaming PCs that I have and let you take a look and decide which one is the one that you think is the best. Frostbite.